Internet of Things. This is fucking awesome. Uh, this thing that I have, yep, this is this article called the Building an Internet of Things. There's a whole bunch of videos and a whole bunch of articles about just various random stuff. But okay, what the Internet thing of Things is uh, basically logging and cataloging and linking every one of our physical objects. Mostly through RFID, like they're saying, you know, there's, there's a company called, I think it was like Violet or something. I don't know. But they've got these little post-it tags which just have RFID, um, you know, their RFID tags that you attach yeah. to anything and it can then start interacting with all sorts of stuff. But I mean, uh, you can do so many cool stuff with this, like, uh, for example, linking with your phone, you know, you, you walk into anywhere, it knows that that's you, it then starts adapting and other, other devices start talking to your phone because it knows that's you, it knows what you want. Um, shopping lists, like you were saying, you know, you're, you're fucking, your uh, shopping basket could have a, a, send out a tweet basically saying, you know, yeah. buy me this or get me this. That or, is cool. Or you, in other examples, like say your car could have a Facebook status. Like obviously they won't have a Facebook status, but mm. it's just but they actually trying, have trying to get that message there. across. Yeah. And so it's, it's creating every everything around us actually being part of the internet yeah. and actually... and talking to each other. That is cool. Everything microchip. I, I, I don't see the, the the idea of putting like a tag on things. It should be actually yeah, built into their software. That most things now work. nearly have a computer chip. I don't see why yeah. just sticking stuff. Well, on well, it. Intel was apparently working on a microchip which had inbuilt Wi-Fi. Yeah. In yeah the well, that's, 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 that's on their roadmap. They still haven't done it yet, though. Well, I don't know what they're talking about. So I think it was 2012. Because I mean, everything like you, remember, you, you, your microwave has a, a, a microprocessor in it. Your everything that has a toasters. microprocessor should, should be connected to toasters. the internet. Toasters. Do toasters have? You can so, put one in there. Basic one. Well, see, it, it makes sense to put a microchip in everything that yeah. is connected to the internet and, and then actually make that a part yeah, yeah. of the... Well, see, that's what... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if Twitter or Facebook are the actual platform no, for no, that. No, no, no. Well, actually, I, I had a big rant in the comments and there was a big back and forth. I was saying, like, this is cool, this is where it's all going, but everyone's right. trying to do their own proprietary thing. Yeah. Like the, those guys with their RFID tags. Like you need, uh, I think you need the semantic way. You need this standard linked data. So yeah, so when, it can be totally open. Yeah, so that when this device says, I want this, I need this, here's But there still data. needs to be a portal where you access all of that data through. Yeah, you put it on top, but you still need the semantic web underlay mm. to actually well, it, link it, all the data together. I, I don't think it, like the semantic web and all of that, sure. Um, to actually get it across and go, going through. I, I, but I think to actually get the semantic web, you actually need the the one platform that people can agree on. Because at the moment, the reason everyone's doing all their different platforms is because they all want to be the standard. They want to like, get the way that you interact with the internet. It's just because they want to own it. You can't They're own it. Right. But you can own it. Like Facebook, you can own social data. Yeah. But the same way with Google, you can own like, you, you can own it. Like people say, oh, you can't own this stuff, but you really can. By being the portal through, you don't technically own yeah, it. Yeah, I, you I guess if, you, if you're big enough and powerful enough, you can create the standard and yeah. then you can open up. And that's it. That's what everyone's yeah. trying right now. That Everyone's trying to work out the standard for the internet of things. Because yeah. that's going to happen that everything that has a computer chip in it is going to be connected to the net. That is a definite. Mm. There is no possibility that that won't happen. It's taking too the... damn long though, in my opinion. Like, it is. Well, it needs to be all Wi-Fi connected. You need, you need a lot yeah. of platforms to be working before yeah, that happens. Like, the amount of shit... Like, you can't even imagine what you could possibly achieve with no. that. Oh, piece. you can't. The things, it's just, like just mind-blowing. People just throw out ideas and you can just come up with anything on the fly. It's yeah. Like, yeah. That's cool. Well, especially with your phone different. right now. It's like, it's the phone is the internet. We keep on thinking computers right there, but it's no. not. It's, it's really just the phone. And that means any device all, machine, all around yeah. you, all on the net. Yeah. All connected, all through that one portal where you actually access your life. I don't know. I, I don't think Facebook is my life. I think Facebook's going to stay as a social part of it, and I think there's going to be another thing that hasn't been created yet that's going to be the semantic web that connects me with all of my objects around. And mm. I think it's going to be phone-based. I don't think it's going to be PC-based. That's, that's my prediction. Yeah. I'm laying it down right now. I think just because there's more um, data yeah. in, the, in the phone. Like, you walk around, it, it tracks you. Again, yeah. I, I've mentioned this before, but I've been tracking my location for the last, like, year and a half, two years on mm. Google Attitude. And you should be able to detect cool. every internet-enabled device around there, which should be exponentially growing. Yeah. Which it probably is right now, even. And, and uh, uh, keep on going. There's another example I had is um, just uh, CO2 detection and temperature sensors mm. and stuff. Yeah, everyone on the planet's a they, detector. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. That is pretty cool. Because then you've got you real-time data on the weather. You've got basically. millions of people just all yeah. broadcasting their stuff. That really is just the planet becoming one. Yeah. Gaia theory. Pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to my one. My next one was... If I can find the Sarah Palin one. Here we go. This is on Yahoo News, of all things. That's me. Yahoo? 
I like Yahoo. Yahoo, Yahoo. 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 I, I, I did like, did you see the CEO actually was uh, talking yeah. about Google? So true. So true. Like, everyone's like, oh, no, that, that's not, that's, that's bullshit. Sorry, I should get to the point. The point what, is what that what sh- the CEO of Yahoo was saying is that Google should stop focusing just on search. I was like, well, what the hell? There's Google Maps, there's Gmail, there's all of these other things. Yeah. And when you look at it, it's like 99% or 95% of their revenue all comes from search. Ads, they, yeah. yeah, from ads. They are nothing without that. And that really made me think that whatever's going to take over that, fuck, that, that they have nothing else. Like, they're trying to innovate, but they should be doing a lot more considering how much money they have. Well, that's, I think that's what they're trying to do. They are, but they've failed. <laughs> like, they haven't made anything that's even come close to that. Well, they got search, so they're just riding off that wave. Yeah, I know, like, but well, they, they need to prepare trying... for the next one, because it's yeah. Google. They're great. Ah! Okay, anyway, the, the, this story is mainly about, it doesn't matter, it came from uh, Yahoo News, it's been around everywhere. Um, you, you may remember <laughs> that um, someone hacked, hacked Sarah Palin's uh, email, and they did this hacking by guessing her secret password. So, you know, hardcore skilled <laughs> crackers going on there but um, what was the password I don't know it was probably like QWERTY 